But during that time, what was that like? You talked about bragging right. That was a pretty good time to be an Auburn Tiger. Yes, sir. No, uh, no doubt. No doubt. I, I thought my coach took stuff that really two, two, made his career on the ball. I think he ended up winning six in a row. And uh, things changed though, when Coach Saban came to town, though, you know, after I think about one year. But Coach Stuckville really made his uh, his career, career off of the coach. He made the world, man. I mean, the whole the whole year is made, in, in, my, in, in my opinion, you know, uh, Saturday game, we can uh, make our year and ruin Batman's year, you know, if we can come out on top. I mean, it just it doesn't get any better than that, you know. You're talking about this year now. You're talking about the yes, sir. Yes, sir. 230 yes, sir. contest on CBS, number one Alabama versus number 13 Auburn. Auburn comes in at 8-3, and three, Alabama at 11-0. and 0. Um, Now, you said they can make their season. Alabama's an 18-point favorite. They have an outstanding defensive team, but I contend, I said this earlier, Auburn's got an outstanding defensive team. I think Coach Steele and his staff has done a great job this year. Uh, you said if they can ruin the seed, they can make their season. How do they do it? How does it happen, Coach? Coach, I think it's all going to come down to the trenches. Uh, our and I think that's going to give us a chance on both sides of the ball. Our defensive line has played pretty good all year. Our offensive line, I thought, was making making progress. And uh, no matter who was in the backfield, but I think they kind of they've been struggling here a little bit the last few weeks, especially in the running game. So I think that's where it's really going to come down to is whether or not Auburn can establish a running attack in the game and be consistent with it throughout the game to maybe open up a little bit of passing game as well. If we can do that, Coach, I think we have a shot. And uh, – also win the special teams battle, which I think we may have the upper hand in that in a kicky game. But uh, just keep it close and uh, fight. Like Coach Dye said, for 60 minutes, that's how long it takes to beat Alabama. 60 minutes. Not 59, but 60. We're talking to Coach Red Autry, former Auburn Tiger from Jay, Florida, the capital of Florida. I'm kidding on that. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving to you out there. I hope you've had plenty of turkey today at lunch. Probably still eating sandwiches. But uh, we are honored to have Coach Altry. He's now an assistant coach at Ava Maria down in Fort Myers. And um, how you enjoying it? You enjoying the coaching business? I'm comfortable. You know, I'm, I, uh, I've i been out of it for a few years. And, and you know, biggest, your encouragement is one of the probably nine and a half of the main reason I got back into it. And I want to thank you so much for that, Coach. But I love it because it's, uh, you know, Coach, you had something going on in your program this week where, you know, some of your players are experiencing adversity in life off the field. And football brings people together as a family almost as, as much as uh, a real family does. And, and Coach, the, 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 the special relationship between a player and a coach and also between the coaches and just, the camaraderie coaches, it's just unmatched almost in my opinion. And uh, it, it just doesn't get much better than that. Unfortunately, we, we had a bad year this year. We went 0 10. But, Coach, it's just so great to be back into the game, man. So great. And I want to thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And uh, and I want, I, want, I want to reverse it only two real quick, Coach. Now, you coached the Bama for several years, Coach. I want to ask you, as an assistant coach, I think the, uh, the listeners in here, what it was like from your perspective, a guy that grew up, uh, I know Coach Bear Bryant, uh, Coach Bear Bryant was uh, a guy you always looked up to, but tell me about how this week was different for you preparing for Auburn and some of the heated, heated robberies you, you had when y'all were there. Well, when we came in, when we came into the Alabama, I appreciate you asking me a question on my show, Coach Archer. That's pretty cool. But, uh, <laughs> that's, all right, Coach, that's, that's okay. Coach. That's all right. When we came into the Alabama program in 1998, I had been at Florida State, and all we ever heard about, all them Florida State guys were talking about the Florida State-Miami game. You know, what a great game. And, then, and look, it was a great game. It was an unbelievable rivalry. And they talked about Florida, the Florida Gators and, Alabama, and Florida State, but I have never been involved in any. I appreciate you asking me a question on my show. 
Excuse me, anybody in the country recognizes the difference in this in this rivalry, Alabama Auburn, and um, some of the biggest wins in my career were Alabama uh, over Auburn. We lost to uh, Auburn our last year, nine to nothing. Uh, Tommy Tuberville was the coach. We lost that uh, Brian Denny, and um, it, you know it, it hurt, but. Um, I just Everybody remember Sean in. Alexander doing such Go a great in. job in the victory we had. Chris Sam is a our guys played at such a high level, Brent. I mean, it's something that just you know, heroes are made in that game. Um uh, guys <laughs> develop a lifelong, you know, reputation. Go on Facebook now, you both I'm gonna tell everybody in that game. But uh only so red. A great one. I want Only to You're an everyone out there. <laughs> yeah. And Alabama's a huge favorite, but you know, until that game's over, you better you better keep in mind anybody can win that one. I mean, Alabama Auburn, Auburn rivalry is incredible. But Red, let's get back. I know uh, you're gonna be your guys are gonna be in town recruiting, looking for players. Uh, and we can't talk specifics, but why why is Ivor Maria? such a good opportunity for kids from up here in Mobile, Alabama and Pensacola, Florida. Why is it such a good opportunity for those guys to take a look at that program down there? Well, Coach, it's, uh, it's located 30 miles from Naples, Florida, but it's, it's kind of secluded and it's its own little uh, city. It was, it was developed in 2007, I think, and it's still growing, and right now we're kind of in the rebirthing process. And, uh, you're looking for guys that can play right now. You're looking for impact guys right now to come in yes, and play. Sir, yes, sir, no doubt. Especially guys, coach, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm really like the type of guys in the fandom of Florida and South Alabama. To me, they're some of the most hard-nosed players uh, in the country, you know. And, and right now, I told them, these guys like that to help us get this program where it needs to be. You know, we're, we're in the rebuilding phase, and, uh, we're looking for guys to come in and make an immediate impact uh, on day one. And you know what? I think that you'll get them. Those are outstanding players. Um, I just hope that I hope that you continue to enjoy the coaching part of it. And, Rhett, uh, are you going to give me a pick on this game tonight, Alabama and Auburn? Coach, I, I, I will, man. Uh, I hate to do this, man. Oh, uh, Red, don't you do it! Do, but I, 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 I saw the both different. Oh! Bread that loves the juice. Juice.